What if I told you there was a quick way to see if you're behind schedule or over budget on your project? You'd be interested, right? Well, what if I told you it involved a reasonable amount of math? Still interested? That's what I like to hear. Let's dive in and learn about earned value in project management. Earned value or EV is a way to measure and monitor the level of work completed on a project against your plan. We'll start simple and then build a few more earned value calculations. For example, let's say your project budget is $100,000 and your project is 60% completed. That would mean that your basic earned value is $60,000. But that basic calculation won't give you the full picture. Let's add in schedule variance, which is the difference between your planned progress and your actual progress to date. To calculate schedule variance, the formula is EV, earned value, minus PV, planned value. In another example, let's assume you have a four month long project and you're two months in, but the project is only 25% complete. In this case, your EV is equal to one month, 25% of four months, and your PV is equal to two months. Therefore, your SV is one minus two equals negative one. The number is negative, so that lets you know you're behind schedule. Now let's think about cost variance. Cost variance is the difference between how much you planned on spending thus far and your actual costs to date. The CV formula is CV equals EV minus AC, actual cost. Let's use our first example. Your project budget is $100,000 and you're 60% done, which means your EV is $60,000. If you've spent $70,000 so far to get to this point in the project, your CV is negative $10,000. You can tell you're over budget because the number is negative, which may indicate a problem with the project or that the project could go over budget or run out of money. We've got two more EV calculations. Are you still with me? Great. Let's look at Schedule Performance Index, SPI. This measure translates numbers into a value that can be compared easily across tasks or projects. The calculation for SPI is SPI equals EV divided by PV. When the SPI is above one, you're ahead of schedule. If it's below one, you're behind. To take the first example, the SPI would be one divided by two equals 0.5. Time to get cracking. Now let's move on to cost performance index, CPI. Just like SPI, CPI allows you to simplify the answer for better analysis. The CPI formula is CPI equals EV divided by AC. When the CPI is over one, you're under budget. And when it's under one, you're overspending. In our first example, the CPI would be $60,000 divided by $70,000 equals 0.86, indicating that you need to rein in your spending. CPI can also be used to forecast your project's completion by dividing your total project budget by your current CPI. This formula is known as the Estimate at Completion, EAC. In our first example, this would be $100,000 divided by 0.86 equals $116,279.07. That means that at this point in the project, based on your current progress, you're probably going to overspend your budget by $16,279.07. Yowza! That's not great news, but it's certainly better to know that midway through the project rather than when the invoices start coming through the door. Knowing this early allows you the time to either find ways to cut costs or secure more funding. As you can see, keeping track of your data is critical to the success of your projects. If you need help keeping track of all that data, Reich has you covered. You can trust Reich for all your project planning needs.